you know, this story that I'm about to tell you just and reinforces why it's very important to check out people, especially doctors, because that's a very critical thing in your life, especially when it comes down to life and death. Well, this doctor did surgery on someone, which was a routine surgery, and they ended up unaliving the person. So instead of owning up to it, he propped this person up in the bed and tried to make them look like they were still alive and they were actually dead. So, you know, unfortunately, I was reading several years back that a lot of these East Indian doctors that come over here, they come over here with fake doctor credentials. So just make sure you check these people out. And, you know, many of them are working and have practices in this country. So just be careful. That's all I'm saying. If you are changing doctors, check those doctors out. Look at what kind of reputation they have surgeries they perform, you know, and apparently this dude was killing quite a few people. So let's get into it. Hospital patient propped up to look fake alive after dying during routine surgery. This is according to a lawsuit that was filed by her family. Doctors at an Ohio hospital propped up a dead patient in a fake alive pose before she was seen by her family, even though she had died during a routine surgery two hours earlier, according to a lawsuit. Mm -mm -mm. So the patient was identified as a 65-year-old woman. She was in good health when she walked into Adena Healthcare System, okay? And they said this was a routine heart catheterization is what she was getting. The woman's family has claimed that there were discrepancies between hospital records and the death certificate regarding her time of death, while her medical records indicate that she died at one o'clock in the afternoon. That's what it says. She died at one o'clock in the afternoon. But on the death certificate, ladies and gentlemen, they put that she died at 3.05 p.m., which is the family, her family, was brought into the room and urged to take her off of life support. So they tried to pretend like she was still alive but on life support, and she had died two hours earlier. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Her family is demanding the truth behind what happened leading up to her death and why she had been propped up to look fake alive for her family when she had been declared dead two hours before. Okay, so the woman received surgery from, this is who you're looking at in the picture, Dr. Gerard Betts, a cardiologist who has faced previous questions over his credentials. Betts has performed at least three transcatheter valve replacement procedures despite not being qualified to perform the specialized operation, the outlet previously reported in May. If he was not qualified to do this, why was he doing it? Betts allegedly cut into an artery during the procedure. While he thought he had gotten the situation under control, 
the woman was still bleeding later in ICU. The surgery was taken over by a second cardiologist, Atik Reham. The patient later died under his care, according to medical records. At least 31 people have come forward accusing Betts of faking his credentials, the outlet reported. An independent autopsy was requested by the family after they found out that Ben Trotter, a Ross County coroner, is an employee of Adina. Oh, I understand. So the coroner's office is connected with the hospital. So of course, he's going to give an autopsy to come out in the favor of the hospital. That's what the family is complaining about. So they want an independent autopsy with a coroner that has no connection with this hospital. So Adena Health System has not commented on the matter. Wow. So what I'm thinking is this doctor probably lied about his credentials. And that's what they're saying. He faked his credentials. Wow. And it cost people their lot, a person their life, this woman that was 65 years old. Wow. This is, this is terrible, y'all. But me, personally, I think a lot of these doctors are out here faking the skills that they have. I really do. And I think it is a very common problem in this country. So, y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think about this one. And be careful if anybody in your life or yourself have to get procedures done, make sure you check out that doctor as thoroughly as possible. Seriously, if you see things wrong or accusations about their credentials could possibly be fake, eh, don't move forward with that person, you know, and and another thing, always get another opinion. Don't go by what one doctor said. Please tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.